Brittany Griner took to Instagram and posted her thanks to everyone who supported her. Griner wrote, I dug deep to keep my faith. And it was the love from so many of you that helped me going from bottom, from going from the bottom of my heart. Thank you to everyone for your help. And when it comes to her basketball career, Griner wrote, I also want to make one thing very clear. I intend to play basketball for the WNBA's Phoenix Mercury this season. And in doing so, I look forward to being able to say thank you to those of you who advocated, wrote, and posted for me uh, in person, uh, for me in, in person real soon. Ladies, are you glad that she's out of prison and in good spirits? Vivica, I know you have a stake in a, a WNBA team. Miss Boss Late T, we got to all go to a game. What do you think about this? How, how's the community feeling? The basketball? Oh my gosh. They are ready, ready to welcome Brittany back with open arms. This is so good for the WNBA, for women's basketball, that, you know, I hope this is a victory tour for her, that the, she plays with some good girls. They be balling. So I mm -hmm. guarantee you everybody coming back to play this season. Them games are going to be so lit. What I love about this message more than anything else and what you've heard about Brittany since her release is her humility. She's so grateful. She's so been so gracious. I love that you heard that when she got on a plane, they was like, we're going to let you be. She's like, no, I want to talk to everybody. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> she had been in Russia for 10 months. So this just warms my heart. I'm so glad we're talking about this tonight. This truly, truly is good for women. Brittany, we're ready to see you hoop, girl. I want you slamming on them every game. That's right. Okay. Selena, what do you think about this? I know you're a big basketball fan. Man, pretty much everything Vivica just said, though, she pretty much hit the nail on the head. I can't wait to see her playing again. But I but I know this is weird and crazy, but I, I was just wishing that I knew her personally so I could get to her to encourage her somehow when she was in there. I Guys, it, it, it really got on my nerve every day. Like I used to be so, like every week I used to just either in posts or I really thought about this. I was so afraid for her. Yeah. I just was so scared for her. And when I saw a picture of her and her wife reunited, I literally cried. I was yeah. so happy for them. That, that must have been horrible. And to be released right before the holidays, such a gift. I'm so glad that Biden and them and his and the administration were able to get that done right before the holidays. I'm so happy for them. And mm -hmm. I can't wait to see her play. So wait. super, super excited about it. That's right. Lisa Ray, what do you think? Yeah, I'm just glad that we supported in a way that didn't let off their necks, that we did post and we did say that we still care. And hey, what about, you know, we don't hear her name now. So but what about Brittany? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? You know, that at least kept it in the media, kept it on people's tongue, kept it in their mind to let them know that we weren't letting up off of that and that she knows that we were back here fighting for her. So absolutely, you know, to be cooped up, and in, in a different country, uh, I don't even know if they even spoke any type of English for her to be able to communicate and to be in such a small cell with no friends, no family. That was so sad till just her reunion back in the States, back at home, back with her wife, back with her family, back at work and training the way she's supposed to. I know that she is honored to be back here. We are absolutely excited about what she's going to bring to the WNBA this season. And, and, you know, I'm just glad that she is, she can put that and start putting that behind her. Absolutely. I'm hoping that a positive, more so, of course, her being released is a positive, but I'm hoping with the attention that was around this, the international attention, that perhaps this might cause a, a renewed interest in the WNBA, therefore leading to them get higher wages. So people like yeah. Brittany Griner don't have to go overseas and play like that to make their money. I, I think this is going to have a very, very, very positive impact on the game. I would not be surprised if her first game back is sold out. I, yeah. I really, oh, and I, I for really sure. got goosebumps just oh, yeah. thinking about that. You know what I mean? Like, wouldn't that be amazing yeah. if the, we would have interest in that? Because let's face it, like, we you know, should go. We, we should find ooh, out where well, it we is. Well, we know someone, Vivica. We can go to them games. We got Vivica, the hook us up. We should go to the first one. We, we should I'll, go. I'll look into it. I'll look it into it. It is the first one. And, and Brittany Griner, if you're watching, and if any of your people are watching, I would love to invite you to be on Cocktails with the Queens. I would love to have you on here. I would love to offer the, um, the uh, invitation. Her and her wife. Her her and you, you and your wife, because your wife yeah. is absolutely was eloquent and amazing. We would love okay. to open up Cocktails with Queens to you because I don't like the negative media. Like why, it's almost like we couldn't celebrate her uh, on her, a standalone, right? It was like, Brittany got out. Then it's like, but what about Paul Whelan? 
But what right. about this? And what about the arms dealer? Why can't we just say, yep. Brittany got out, period. That's a W. And celebrate that. You know, yeah. because her wife, when she did the speech in Washington, D.C., it was like the next thing that she said, how happy we are. But right. we also will use our platform to advocate for mm -hmm. the release of Paul Whelan. The best response for me was Plies. When he said, to all y'all haters talking about Paul, y'all act like y'all know Paul. <laughs> it, it's almost like we weren't allowed to only celebrate the release of a Black woman. It had to have a but after. Uh -huh. exactly. And here at Cocktails with Queens, she is more than enough to celebrate her alone. Yes. You know, if it was your brother, your mother, your sister, whatever over there, you would not want to us to say, well, what about this one? Well, what about that one? Why can't they? It's almost like, I feel like the, the wife was made to almost feel guilty to exactly. just celebrate her wife being out, right? Claudia, to, like, to piggyback really quick, and I know we got to move on. Um, I love that you tweeted, that's all they offered. Why y'all acting like there was something else on the table. Right. That's all that Russia, Russia offered. Right. Brittany Griner or no one. Bottom line. Right. And they know yeah. why they yes. did that. They know why they did that. So. They're not, Russia doesn't want to negotiate with us in the middle of a war. They're, they're going to use, they're going to use Paul Whelan for something else. They think he's yes. a spy. Brittany Griner was on some BS hash oil thing. People kill me with that. And I hate that it was a lot of us doing it, but you know, we ain't gonna dress y'all. We're gonna move on. 